hello. Well, I'm standing next to a stinging nettle, but I haven't come here to tell you about that. I'm going to pretend it's not there. Well, I'm almost going to pretend it's not there. I'm going to try and not get stung. I'm instead going to talk about this little fern which is growing next to it. And this is black spleenwort, Asplenium adiantum nigrum. Now, the Latin name of Splenium uh, comes from the Middle Ages when people thought that decoctions of these ferns would help you if you had a problem with your spleen. I suspect it didn't work at all and I bet it tasted pretty horrible too. Um, and uh, it's called black spleen wort, adiantum nigrum, nigrum being a word for black, because the base of the um, stalk uh, is well, actually, it's not black. It's really a rather dark brown. And it's supposed to be a diagnostic character, but I don't think it works very well at all. I often see them with no dark base to the stalks whatsoever. So I'm going to tell you a proper way of diagnosing it. And that, because it's a fern, means turning it over. And if I look at the underside, I can see that the, uh, the backs of the little fronds have long, thin strips of sporangia on them. Those are where the spores come out. And they're protected by a little flap called an indusium. And that's long and narrow. And that tells me that it's got to be the genus Asplenium. And then I count how many divisions there are. And on this one, naught, one, two. So this is a two pinnate fern. It's a two pinnate asplenium. And in the UK, that tells me that it's either walru or it's this one, uh, spleen, uh, black spleenworth, asplenium adiantum nigrum. How do I know it's not walru? Well, because walru has the ends of the fronds divided into diamond shapes, like that. And this one doesn't. They're quite flat, and they look just like a tiny little fern. So this is has a, a linear indusia, which tells me that it's an asplenium. It's two pinnate, and that tells me, in this case, in this area, that it's either walru or it's a asplenium adiantum nigrum. And the fact that it hasn't got these rhomboidal ends to the leaves tells me that, in fact, is correct, and it's uh, black spleen word. So, and it, it, it grows in, in these sorts of places. It likes growing on walls. I've seen it growing on grassy banks, and all sorts of other places, but it's rather adopted, like so many of our small ferns, it's adopted um, our garden walls as its home. Black spleenwort, Asplenium adiantum nigrum.